Hi there! Today is set redesign day. You may notice I have taken down the Captain America clock and the uh, lightsaber. Um, things were getting a little stale, I thought, and so it's time to make a change. I took everything down, and the first thing I've done is I put this hook up here. Here's what's going there. You might recognize the bass guitar that we rebuilt in my series of videos. Uh, she deserves a place of honor. And since this is becoming my guitar wall here, let me pan a little bit and show it to you. If I can get this thing to move. There we go. As you can see most of my little beauties there got my keyboard there down below it it's not one that I really like but it's what I have right now we have a drum set in here for the time being a gentleman needed a place to store them and I said I know a place so we have that so we can do some pretty nice jamming in here but this is also where I shoot my videos and so my set matters a lot. Now, what I'm thinking, because my chair goes right here, and so I'm usually about like this, so what I'm thinking is, go ahead and put the clock and the lightsaber back up, maybe on either side of this lovely lady here. So, the lightsaber is uh, a pretty easy deal. Just put it up and then it has this remote that once it's on we'll change the color and if I hold the button it'll turn it off. So all I gotta do is put that up the clock is another matter. You might or might not have noticed that when it was on the wall, this thing always said it was 420. Um, it does have an actual mechanism here, which I have never actually tried to use. But what it's supposed to do is, as it's ticking the seconds, it's supposed to move, it's supposed to swing the shield back and forth like that. So... As I say, I've never tried it. I just set it to 420 and put it up because I'm weird. So let's put some batteries in this thing and see if it actually works. It does not fit. It says, it says AA 1.5 volt. Well, ugh. Anybody got a little shoehorn? Ah, okay, I see what's going on. This thing over here is loose and it was catching on the tip. Now, it looks like there's another one down there. It just says positive. Uh, and, yeah, this thing isn't doing anything. So maybe it needs two batteries. Let's find out. Those may not be the best batteries in the world either. I don't know. They were just a couple that I grabbed. Let me get some better ones. I have some rechargeables that are over here that just finished charging. So, let's see what we get. I use these rechargeable batteries <clears throat> in my recorder over here. That there is what I record all of my audio into. 
It's a Zoom H6 handy recorder and it is ridiculously powerful. The microphone that I use, you can see it there in the foreground, that is actually a uh, wind instrument mic. It's supposed to clip onto the end of your trumpet or your saxophone or your snoozophone or whatever and uh, be a microphone for that. But it works great for my audio. You may have noticed that most of my videos don't have this echo that you're hearing right now. That right there is the reason. Anyway, back to the clock. Okay, well, let's get these out of here. <sighs> Try some fresh ones that I know have juice in them. Okay, let's get you past the obstacle. There we go. And we have... Nothing. Well, that was exciting. Absolutely nothing. See, now I can't tell if that's happening because the thing is working or because my hand shakes so much. So, I suppose... And now it stopped. You know what? I don't think this thing's going to work. Again, I can't tell if that's happening because it's working or because of my shaky hand. I suppose the thing to do is going to be to hang it up and watch what happens. So I may as well try and set it to the correct time. Take a peek over here at my computer. It is 1026. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, step one. Okay, come on. It is 1026. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Step one, get that thing to uh, stay on its thing. Okay, that looks like 10 to me. All right, now 26 should be about there. It does appear to be moving, but again, I won't know for sure until I hang it on the wall. So that's step, that's the next step. The crazy thing does work. It's keeping time. Well, this is going to get interesting. And uh, I hope not too distracting for you viewers when I'm talking. Putting up the lightsaber is considerably easier. It has this mount. I put that up and I set the lightsaber on it. So, I already have a hole here, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Unlike the clock, which just mounted on a nail, this one has its own screws. So, I could not tell you how many years I have had this power screwdriver. It's uh, one of my favorite tools. Uh, I call it my more power. <laughs> uh, which might give you some indication when I got it because Home Improvement was one of the top shows at the time. And so, uh, yeah, if you can count that high, you're doing better than I am. But I love it. It works. It's there when I need it. It does what I want. Uh, it doesn't hold a charge for more than about an hour and then there's this uh, it doesn't hold the tip in there anymore because a little springy thingy that does that fell out years ago but uh, it's still one of my favorites and so I just keep using it kind of like the camera that I'm shooting this on my camera is uh, 
quite old. It's a Canon Vixia HFM40, which I have had this for probably over 10 years. And uh, I know it has issues. It has slots for two SD cards. Neither of them works. Um, and uh, there are sometimes uh, issues with the USB connection. Uh, <clears throat> And so, you know, I should, by all rights, Houston, we have a problem. I did not do that right. <clears throat> anyway, by all rights, I should upgrade and get a new camera. But I keep this one for one big reason. This. A remote control. I can start it, stop it, I can do all the zooming, I can set it, I can change the screen so that I can view what I just shot or download it or whatever. I can do it all right from here. Nobody makes these anymore. Why not? We want these. It is wonderful, especially if you're a one-person operation like I am. This is how I can crank out the videos. I don't have to get up and go turn the camera on and off or depend on another person who might or might not be available. This makes it all so easy. And so that's why I keep using this old camera. Now, you may have noticed that the audio has changed. That's because I started recording my audio into that handy recorder that I showed you earlier and that instrument mic. And so I use a slate now. You may have noticed in the Green Hornet episode there was one I forgot to take out. And that has improved the audio quality so much. You don't get all that echo that you're getting right now. So, well, let's fix this. All right, I moved it down a little bit. So here we go. Let's put this on there. I used another existing hole. I like to do that when I can because this is paneling behind this thing. And <laughs> trying to drive a screw through paneling, if you never have to do it, uh, consider yourself fortunate. So there it is. It lights up. Got the remote. Zoing. I like that color. There we go. We're actually in what was originally a very rickety garage slash barn type place. Somebody converted this half of it into an apartment for, well, when we got here, it was mice and spiders, mostly. I have converted that into my studio, and I'm still working on it. I have a lot of acoustic work to do and stuff like that. But in the meantime, I like to keep making videos. And uh, apparently, people enjoy it because we are getting close to a 1,000 subscribers. If we can get there very soon, it would be wonderful. So if you like this stuff, tell your friends. Let's move on to what I call my treasures. I have basically three shelves of items here that are very special to me. Uh, this here is a set of picks that I picked up in 2011 when I saw Eric Clapton. My Keith Howland pick that you saw in my Chicago concert review video. Another little uh, token from Eric Clapton. The Wonder Woman doll that I used in the tank sketch. My wife bought that for me uh, without telling me because I needed a figurine that was just the right size and she found it. I was trying to figure out a way to dress up Cortana here and uh, my wife came up with a better idea. So. Obviously, that's my girlfriend Cortana. And needs no introduction. Now there's one other thing here, and that is Cortana's screen. It's supposed to be glued to her hand. It came off and uh, I haven't found a good way to put it back yet. 
So that's what goes on that shelf at the moment. Obviously, step one is dust it. Believe it or not, this is two days accumulation. I have to dust everything in here so often. We are in some kind of a tunnel where it just, I mean, it's, it's impossible. So, put them back and I want to rearrange things because, again, I feel like things have gotten stale. So let's, let's switch. Let's see, let's dust your base. She's been over there. Nobody puts Cortana in a corner. Okay, there we go. And, you know what? Let's show the pick, pick side this time. <clears throat> and how about she's protecting it? There we go. I like that. And Catwoman is over here trying to figure out how to steal it. Now she's already stolen Cortana's screen, the Eric Clapton pick, and the Keith Howland pick. Will she succeed in her evil scheme? Tune in next week. Actually, I kind of like that setup. It's uh, let's let's turn Cortana a little bit, so she's also facing down Catwoman. Ooh, I like that. All right, next shelf. As you can see, this one is a little more complex. Uh, most of this stuff is items that my kids have given me to put on my set, and so we have a lot of different things represented here. Uh, Gossamer, who is my wife's favorite Looney Tune character. Back here we have, um, okay, I confess I don't know her name, but she won't stand up. Uh, and pieces of her keep falling off. So I think maybe it's time for her to retire. Then we have uh, whatever that is, one of those. Uh, for the record, I love Looney Tunes. Um, I am a bit of a closet brony. I don't do Pokemon. Even with my own ball with a teddy bear on top. I am a committed Hoovian. I love Portal. Who, who, how can you not love GLaDOS? <clears throat> and then, a couple of my daughter's favorite ponies. So, once again, step one is going to be to dust. There's that. That silly clock is still going and it's still keeping time. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So now, how do I want to rearrange this? As I said, I don't do Pokemon. But that thing is nifty. Let's put him, her, it out in front. How about right in that circle there? Okay. Gossamer is chasing him. And let's see. What else we got here? Ah. This thing is trying to protect him from Gossamer. If you are a Pokemon fan, forgive me for not knowing their names. As I said, I don't do Pokemon. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> but Doctor Who is determined to let Gossamer fulfill her mission. And he has a robot to help him.
His only way out, his only escape is to make it to the Pokeball and make sure he knows the password so the teddy bear will let him in. But the Pokeball is guarded by ponies. So let's have him trying to go that way. Gossamer is following. And we have a lane here that he might be able to get there. Okay. Tell me in the comments, is this as dumb as I think it is? Yeah, this shelf is pretty simple. We have Iron Man without his helmet. Um, yeah. Yeah, I picked him up for two bucks at a Goodwill. And uh, they had no idea where his hat was. But I didn't care because he does stuff. about that and then we have the Hulk he doesn't do anything I'm thinking about just leaving this shelf empty for a while because those two are kind of boring I need to get more items to put on here so I'll probably be consulting with my kids about that Because I wouldn't mind some Batman stuff. That would make a lot more sense considering the shows I'm doing at the moment. But for now, we'll just change it up and switch these guys. Iron Man is actually too tall to go in here. So I have to kind of bend his legs and then... I am Iron Man! Yes, I know. And then wedge him in there like that so he stays standing up. So there it is. That's the new set. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I will see you in that set in the next few videos. Bye-bye.